everybody, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls, and this is our weekly angelic message for the week beginning November 15th, 2021. If you'd like to get a personal reading with me, just go to my website at angelsouls444.com. You can get an angelic reading or an Akashic Records reading. There isn't an option for the Akashic Records reading, just put that in your form, and we'll do that for you, okay? And if you'd like to participate in all of those Archangel meditation challenges, that is over at, all of those actually, are <laughs> over at gumroad.com slash angel souls there's lots of other angelic content over there as well oh okay so <laughs> i feel so proud of myself i made it to trader joe's this morning i only go there about once a month for this very reason there's always one entitled jerk there and that person today was this mommy i mean god bless her but she had her kid in the cart and we came around the corner and she started directing me where to put my cart it was so weird. She had the whole aisle to go around, but she started like trying to just, she had to be right where I was. You know, this is not unusual. We have people like that in the world. But <laughs> After I got home, I was like, oh God, I got through it. I'm so happy. All right. And I will be filming the story time video right after this one. And hopefully I'll get that up. If you're interested, get over there and check that out. A memory from Hollywood. So messy stories right if you guys like the messy stories let me know i've got a lot of them <laughs> so let's get into the energy of this week it is um it has this feel of like a deep clean a deep clean a deep cleaning your energy uh and repair so if you have been uh, things have kind of been rocking and rolling in your life in some area of your life you might have to stop and maybe it doesn't get fixed this week, but you're having to uh, just kind of clean up the aftermath of it. Again, that's going to mean different things for different people out there. But if you've had an emotional event and you know you've got to cut people out of your life and maybe you've been mourning that and grieving that, well, this might be the week where you are taking care of your energy. And as far as from the spiritual aspect of energetic clearing, you can work with Archangel Michael, you can work with Archangel Metatron, Gabriel, uh, I would work with Gabriel and Raphael with Michael if you wanted to, because then you bring in this nurturing energy and Gabriel can actually help you have a fresh start and, and start a fresh chapter. Okay. And obviously Raphael helps with healing. So it has this reset feel slowing down for some of us. This might be this understanding <laughs> that the holidays are looming and we better take care of ourselves before we have to, you know, I'll do all the craziness with that. Okay. So that is an aspect here. Let me tune in here. The wind. Can I just share something? You guys know I live in Colorado Springs and we get windstorms here. It's just the proximity to the mountains. Um, and so they're howling. It's actually, I actually have my window closed and it's still rattling my blinds around. I must have it open a crack. So sorry if you can hear that in the background. I don't want to disconnect here. But um, just as I sat down, the wind was not doing anything. I started talking about this and it, it's really whipping up out there. It's kind of crazy. So <laughs> just, it might feel like a whirlwind. You know, when stuff happens during a video there, that could be a sign or we're just reading into it. I don't know. It could be either way. However you want to look at it. <laughs> like, what do you want to do with that? But it does have uh, this feeling of a reset um, recovery. Yeah, that's the word recovery. And as you're doing this, as you're trying to get healthier, as you're trying to reset your energy, you will have people who are not in the same frame of mind. And so they may come along and, and they're trying to, you know, pull on you. I have to say, I, I don't know why I felt the need to sit down and say the thing about the Trader Joe's <laughs> moment, um, except this, that type of behavior, it's gotten out of control. I'm not explaining it well. Just understand, like she was being, a, she was being a little nutty. Um, but that kind of energy, we have to be in a place where we're not obviously feeding it, but also not letting it um, rattle us. Now that was just a silly example, but you may have a more, um, maybe, God forbid, a more serious example in your life where you've just had a lot of emotional abuse or um, not being honored or people expecting that you're not allowed to take up space because they decide they want to be there right so look at areas of your life where you need to set stronger boundaries you guys know i'm not like any other spiritual channel and that i will sit here and tell you yeah positivity is great 
But don't forget, you need to be balanced. Don't forget, I mean, you know, yeah, you can pretend like things aren't happening and say, oh, don't, don't. I was saying don't feed them. And I didn't feed this woman. But I set a boundary and I just kept my cart moving. <laughs> I was like, no, you're not directing people in the store. I have every right to stand here as well. So, you know, it, it was one of those kinds of kinds of moments. So look at that. Where do you need to, it's all about the boundaries, right? I and mean, a lot of our energetic clearing that needs to occur is because we're not setting those boundaries. We're always overcorrecting, right? We talk about that all the time. We're always overcorrecting. Now, check with your favorite astrologer. Um, the reason why I say that, I want to call it a loop back, <laughs> which means nothing. Oh, but hang with me. The way it's it's sort of like we're going along, we're, we're rejuvenating, we're just kind of recovering, and then something comes flying back. Okay. So this could be a situation from the past. Um, it could be missed opportunities or things from the past where it was a misunderstanding. But be careful with that because people from our past could try to manipulate you by saying, no, 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 you misunderstood. Trust your instincts. Trust your intuition on this, okay? Let's see if I can get a... Again, with everybody's going to be different, but it's like unresolved issues, things that you have not even given any, um, any time or attention or thought to. It's just all of a sudden there. You might run into like a friend at the grocery store, <laughs> right? Or maybe last time you saw that person, you had a fight, but it was back in high school and you reconnect and you realize that's not what they intended or something like that, okay? This can be reconciliation between family members. Do not, I mean, you know, get with, I always say this, get with a therapist to make sure what is right for you, but don't just, you know, like if it's a toxic family member, you don't have to let them back in. Your a toxic ex-boyfriend or girlfriend or whatever. You don't need to let them back in. This is more perhaps like two people were in like uh, like situational <laughs> kind of moments, right? Where it's like, oh, I'm a little pained over this and I'm a little pained over this. And then you're trying to come together and it didn't work. Okay. And now you come back together and you can discuss it. That doesn't necessarily have to mean that people have love partners coming in or whatever. It's more about um, tying up loose ends or learning, picking up old lessons. That's what I want to say. Picking up old lessons. So looping back, right? Like you're flowing along and then something might hit you kind of suddenly. It doesn't have to be bad. I don't know that it's bad for everybody. Might be a little awkward, but it doesn't have to be bad. Okay. So there is that. Um, as far as the cracking open and, um, Nothing ever picks up on this mic anymore. It used to, when I lived in New York, it picked up everything because <laughs> every time I would go back to edit, it was always in there. But if you can't hear it, the reason why I'm reacting is the, it's the wind outside. It's just getting crazy. Um, we're going to, okay, so they're coming into the workforce and how that's ha uh, kind of affecting, how that's happening and affecting everybody. We're going to be having some news around that. I'm not getting any more on it. I wonder if people aren't going to have like a mass, like walking off the job kind of thing. And we know that that's an issue. We know that that's on the table, but this might be the time that it happens. Shuts down a major company, major company. But we'll see. We'll see how that plays out. I, I just, I want to, it's unsettled. I'll give you that. Um, and it's you really trying to maintain as you go along, especially if you're a water sign, you need to be taking like detoxifying baths and things like that, you know, because you soak up everybody's energy. So make sure you're doing that. Um, it's kind of a maintenance week. That's what I want to call it. It's a maintenance week. <laughs> it's like, I got to, this might be a great time to clean out and declutter your home, clean up your energy. Um, get ready for something that loops back that maybe you kind of clean up that situation it was sort of hanging there you didn't have clear communication whatever okay so something around that and then everyone's kind of exhausted i think and we're all just kind of just just right here <laughs> just right here and just taking it as it comes and i definitely feel that take it as it comes now it's going to be really imperative that we're not neglecting our spiritual practice and i know a lot of people get 
into this place of, well, I go through the motions of my spiritual practice, therefore I am spiritual. It's not how that works. That is not how that works. Uh, just because you show up to yoga class every week doesn't make you spiritual. I think I've shared the story before where I lived in New York City and I went to a very early yoga class. I mean, it was like first thing in the morning and this girl came in and she was clearly on something. I don't know, but she must have just been partying and came to yoga class and she came in and threw her mat on top of mine. And, I, you know, I was just like, what is going on? I looked over at the yoga instructor and I thought she was getting ready to kick her out. She didn't know. She said, I'll find you a spot over here. You don't just throw your mat on top of somebody else's mat. And class had already started. So she came in late and then did this. I think I was in tree pose, actually. <laughs> like, had my eyes closed. I'm like, what in the world? <laughs> like, what's going on here? So, yeah, just bear that in mind. And I think there's a little cleanup around that, too, around our perception of what truly is spiritual. And who do we listen to? What do we follow? Um, what are the expectations uh, in our lives? So, again, it feels like there's some shakeup around perhaps relationships um maybe it is a work situation but it's not what you thought it was it's not what you thought it was okay so for some of you it's a relief okay it's not as bad as i thought it was and for others you might finally come to this realization of i need to cut this person out of my life or these people out of my life because they're too toxic and they're abusive or um this is not what i want to do with my life or whatever okay i mean again it could be different for everybody so Let's get on to the cards here. Maintain, maintain, maintain. It really is a take it step by step by step. So there's nothing ugh, major epiphanies, major anything. No, it's like going back and cleaning up whatever previous mess was there. Okay. Now, some of you might get a phone call about a job or... Uh, maybe you do meet a new love partner or something like that. But it's more about, it, they keep saying loop back, a loop back. <laughs> like you're going back and taking care of something. But what it does when, when you do that is it opens up your present energy. Oh my gosh. Okay, these do not want to shuffle. They're sticky cards. So again, don't put pressure on yourself this week, okay? Because you might not be as productive as you like to be. Okay, oh, the star. This is what you're doing. You're getting rid of the old stuff. You're healing, okay? So you can be more of you. So this is Archangel Jophia. It's all about beauty, harmony, uh, wisdom, grace. A lot of people associate Jophia with the crown chakra. Whenever it comes to archangels and the chakras, I have my associations, but I respect whatever anybody else <laughs> associates with it as well. It doesn't really matter. They will come in and help you with whatever you need, okay? So it says, a dream come true, believe in yourself, the end of a difficult situation. So yeah, it is, mm. sorry, when I get quiet, I have a message coming through. So it's like breaking apart. I was just saying this to somebody. I said, I feel like sometimes my life is in pieces, but I'm happy about it because it wasn't working. And so I had to kind of break it apart to see what was going on. Now when I put it all together again, it's gonna be working fine, right? <laughs> it has that kind of feeling. And water is emotions and she is dumping out two pitchers of water and returning it to like a stream. Yeah, it looks like it's like a stream, okay? So she's taking the water, she's not collecting up the water, she's pouring it back out, taking all this emotional stuff and sending it back to the earth for transmutation, <laughs> okay? You can think of it that way, but you're not gonna be able to see, I'm getting the message here that a lot of us are trying to force abundance. We're trying to force prosperity. We're trying to force love. We're trying to force the spiritual growth by coming at it still very intellectually. That's what I was saying before. Just because you go to yoga class doesn't mean that you're spiritual. Uh, if I do this formula, then I will have made it. If I follow this one belief system, then I am better than everybody. People do that. Okay. And that's what we need to wake up to. This idea that people are better. <sighs> I fix my necklace. So I <laughs> caught my hair. Um, you know, this idea that we, we can take a spiritual belief and try to amp up our ego with it. Does that make sense? All right. So watch out for that. But I love this, a dream come true. So for some of you, it is major healing. For others, it's like, well, I've wanted love, wanted love. And anytime you heard a reader say, you've already met the love. 
you were meant to have. And you might have forgotten about somebody uh, from the past and then they come back around and you can explore it. Take it easy on everything, <laughs> okay? Take it easy on everything. And I wouldn't even commit to anything at the moment because it does feel like you gotta put those pieces back together. But definitely you're on your way. Something promising, you know, where you see the light at the end of the tunnel. Humans need to not be so goal focused because we get too narrowly minded about it. Um, I can't be happy until I will be happy when I will do this, that, and the other, you know, all of that. And it holds us up. Okay. Let's see. It's a great card to start off with. Let's see what else we have. 10 of Michael. You're done. You're done. I said it's over. <laughs> a situation has ended and you are finally free. That is the key takeaway. You are finally free. Okay. So you're healing a situation and you're letting it go. Now, again, this could be, um, let's say you have a toxic dynamic in your love life. Okay. And you finally let it go. You resolve to heal it. I'm like genuinely going to move on. And then now you're, now you're healed, you're in a different energy. And so something that it does have this past connection, it's like a, a, a reboot, <laughs> okay? Coming back around. Second chances, sure. Yeah, new, well, this is new opportunities. New opportunities for happiness will now follow. Put the past behind you. But again, the way that you're able to put the past behind you um, is by looking at something from the past. You resolve it and then you're able to move forward, okay? I'll take it. I don't know about you guys. I'm, I'm ready to do that. <laughs> Put it to rest. The world. All right. Archangel Michael again. So we got a lot of, there's that detox energy. Okay. Cord cutting, all of that. And I say this every time I bring up cord cutting. I had somebody tell me one time, cord cutting doesn't work. And I read somebody who knew how to do it better. Well, clearly this person had some things going on where they felt the need to diminish others. Um, but she kept saying it didn't work. And when she would talk about how she did it, she was really uh, being too logistical about her spiritual practices. Uh, she thought, if I follow the rules, I did it right. I, I didn't get the outcome I expected, therefore it didn't work. You'll be in trouble if you're looking at it from that perspective, okay? The brain can't answer all the questions. You need to tap into your heart. You need to be in your, there's intelligence in your cells, okay? There's, there's light there, there are light codes. And that's what we're talking about. It's not to sound sci-fi-ish, right? It's to understand yourself better and to reconnect on that deeper level and let those answers come on out. It might not be in an obvious way, all right? So don't just uh, discredit cord cutting or energy clearing because you need it. You gotta be doing it, all right? We all have to be doing it. A very, a very happy ending. Coming full circle, I'm dying. Okay, <laughs> spiritual growth and insight. Coming full circle, that, I should have just said that from the beginning. That was what I was trying to say. <laughs> that was what I was trying to articulate. Coming full circle. But look at this, a happy ending. It's an ending. Like usually this is like a terrible card, but like this is uh, taking your final bow on a certain situation or a pattern in your life and you're moving on. You are not, you're healing from it and now the whole world could potentially open up for you. It's beautiful. Yes. Love it, love it, love it. Got two cards that want to come out here. Let's see. Should I take both? I guess. Okay, so we have Strength, Archangel, Ariel. Uh, strength and grace through kindness, self-confidence, forgiveness. Yeah, see, again, you're moving on. And for some reason, you're really having to have some strength to do this. This could be something that's really hard to move on from. I think that's what it is. Like you're not... Um, like you're having to have strength to face whatever you have to understand about yourself. And it really is about you. And these are things that, um, you know, maybe maybe you have been too trained to just go along to get along. Okay. And that's, that's a common theme in a lot of even spiritual practices. It's turn the other cheek. Okay. But I don't know that that meant to be a doormat, <laughs> right? That doesn't mean overcorrect and never look at anything and just let people do whatever the heck they want. Um, that whole phrase of don't engage, I agree. But that doesn't mean that, it means don't engage in a fight. It doesn't mean you don't set a boundary with somebody. P 
people overcorrect. And people will preach at each other's faces all the time about that. Like, don't feed it, don't feed it. Well, it's easy for them to say because they're not going through it, right? And it's always, the advice is always coming strong when somebody isn't doing or going through it themselves, right? And then we had solutions popping up. This is Archangel Zadkiel, so transmutation, this energy again. Success that comes from objective compromise self-control and patience, forgiving, there's that forgiving again, and healing energy. So it is all about forgiving and healing. The garbage trucks come like constantly now. <laughs> I used to be able to sneak around when they were going to be here to film, but they're, they're here all the time. I don't even know. I don't know what they're doing. Anyway, solutions are coming. You're going to need a little bit of strength here to get through this. I, it doesn't feel like pain. It's not a pained kind of thing. It's just like uh, you knew it was coming. You knew this had to be done. So let's get a color card here. Recapturing lost opportunities. You know, I'll, I'll use this example. Let's say you have been in a very toxic situation. I'm gonna talk about this. More BB trucks. I can't take it. <laughs> but let's say you've been in a very toxic situation your entire life. And through that to toxic situation, you have come to believe certain things about yourself. And you lived your entire existence and made choices based on who you thought you were supposed to be. And now you're healing that. You're letting that go. Maybe you're cutting out toxic people. And now you're having a refresh. And so you may look back. I've done this where um, I remember there was a guy in college who was such a sweetie. He was a... Uh, I think he was on the football team, basketball team. I don't remember, but he was very athletic and um, very sweet guy. And the reason why I say he was very athletic is because I kind of always put those guys in the same category. Like pff, they're going to be stuck up because they're like the star athletes, right? But this guy actually came over to help me because I was having car trouble. Came over to my home to fix my car for me in the rain in the rain and i'm telling him oh, it's okay we'll do it another day <laughs> i can work it out and he insisted on coming over and helping and he was just so incredibly sweet now that was a time where you know he was he was being kind he's a good person and he was being kind but i look back now and i realize i think he liked me a lot and i shut down and i shut him out because i was afraid of being hurt why because of my you know, my experiences and everything I had been through. So now as a healed person, if ever I had the chance to talk to him again, right, and the situation worked out, who knows what it would become. It's that sort of thing, okay? Or maybe you um, would kind of sell yourself short on a business opportunity, a creative project, something that you really wanted to put out into the world, um, and now that can come back around because you're in a different place. Does that make sense? So the card is let love in. And that's why I wanted to give that particular example. Uh, yeah, pink, <clears throat> excuse me, pink, let love in. Number is four. And we know that that is angelic protection. So again, let love in is the self-love. It is divine love. It's love with family and friends and maybe a love partner or what have you. But it is, it has this feeling of going back, clearing things out, being done with a toxic way. Being done with a toxic way. And when we do that, who knows? I mean, all these opportunities could come flowing in. Just be careful about uh, what you agree to, okay? Or especially if you start a love partnership right now, take it very, very slow. All right, so we're gonna leave it there. I'm sending you all so much love and take care.